Anita Danielle with Black Butterfly Media TV, and I'm standing here with Mr. Fred Williams. He's going to tell us about his book, what drove him here, and actually what inspired him to even sit down to write a book. Okay, my name is Frederick Williams, and I decided to write my first novel, Writing Chrome, A Memphis Cell by Frederick Williams, in 201 Popular. I was incarcerated, facing multiple charges, and I noticed that a lot of brothers was not reading. They was not going to the law library. I decided to go to the law library and figure out ways that I can, you know, get some of these charges dropped or dismissed. And uh, as I was successful for that, I started writing my story. And I passed it around to different inmates, and they took a liking to it, okay. you know. So, life behind the bars, is that kind of like what it was? No, or it, just it was the events that led me to be behind the bars in the first place. It was, for one thing, uh, in Memphis, you got to understand that this is a drug-infested city. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of crime. It's a lot of gang activity, and it's also a lot of peer pressure. I, I suffer from the peer pressure. I wanted to do what my friends wanted to do. So I followed them, and I followed them down the wrong path. Being that I've been down that wrong path, I would like to tell young men, don't go down there. i already been down there, and I can tell you about it. Okay, so let me ask you, um, how can we get your book? Right now, my book is being sold by me personally, hand-to-hand. -hand. You can Facebook me. I'll bring you a copy. Or <laughs> <laughs> I have been doing consignment deals with um, local bookstores. The bookseller at Laurelwood is mm -hmm. located across the street from the Old Court Mall on Perkins Extended. And Bellevue Baptist Bookstore, I think, right there on Bellevue, uh -huh. they also do okay. as well. So I'm coming, Bellevue <laughs> Baptist. I definitely. Okay. Um, it's also in the Book Juggler, which is on Main Street, and it's, okay. ne it's located next That's door cool. to the, yeah, it's next to the um, Civil Rights Museum. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, have you gotten in the library yet? I have. I'm in the main library, and I gave them copies for other branches. I don't know if they're there yet. I will be in the Whitehaven Branch Library next, well, October the 4th. You know, you just made history. Well, thank you. You know that. I'm just saying, just to even go that far, you know, we probably stop right here, yeah. but we don't go a little bit farther. You know, we actually get in the library, you right. know, where they keep records and all right. this kind of stuff. So your book will be there for the next generation to come. Exactly. exactly. So you have a, a website or... Uh, you can face me, face, find me on Facebook, Frederick Williams, uh, or you can look up Green Ink Publishing House, and it'll give all my info. Contact Is it your publishing company? Yes. Oh, yes. So you perform your own publishing company Yes. Too? And can I tell you about it? Sure. Um, I have a young man who's a friend. I won't say his name. I don't know that I can. But uh, he was locked up and sentenced a life to life. He has a life sentence. He'll never be out. He gave me his manuscript and he said, will you publish this for me? And I said, I would definitely try my best. He said, no, my kids and family need to eat out there. He said, can you help me get this published? I formed a publishing company based around it and oh, I'm going to wow. help him. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm reviewing his manuscript now and then I'm going to get it edited. It will be in the store soon. Oh, wow. Yeah. You do what you do. Thank you. And thank I you. thank you so very much for taking the time out to interview with us and yes. paying it forward for somebody else that can't, you know, right. a lot of times we get to this place where we too good to try to pull Respect. somebody else up, yes. but we can't do it like that because we all got, it's like teach one, learn one, you know, all teach that, we got to do that. Right. So I just say, encourage you, you know, keep speaking to the young brothers, you know, go to the school system, yes. I'll be get in the Carver High School. I don't know what date yet, but I'm talking to it with the uh, principal of Carver High School to talk to the eight risk teens, as they call them. Yes. Because we got too many of our brothers in yeah, there. We do, definitely. definitely. Well, I thank you so very much thank for being you. a voice to share your story with, you know, with everybody else to just let them know that this is not the life that we, you need to live. That's right. And I want to encourage you to keep going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you have it. You have Ornitha Danielle with Mr. Frederick Williams, and we are signing out and Black Butterfly Media. Yes. <laughs>